21 questions to ask prior to marriage. Part 1 of 3. You know, no doubt, there are many questions you should be asking yourself and each other before you get married. For starters, here are 21 great questions to get you started. And you can imagine each question gives you ample curiosity to inspire more questions because you're about to share not just your life with this person, but your bank account, future earnings, acquired assets and potential investments, your time, days, weeks, months, years on end, your health, your physical, mental. You're going to share so much with this person. It is vital that you know these questions. You don't have to ask them, but as long as you know them, you know that you could ask them. And here's the thing. A friend of mine recently got married. She got married to this guy, and I'm not sure that they asked each other these questions. I'm sure they asked some questions. I mean, nobody goes into marriage without asking a few questions. But this list, this 21-question list of questions to ask someone before you get married to them is thorough, complete. It may not be complete. I mean, you're going to come up with other questions, but the point is it is extremely thorough. Let us not waste any more time. Let's get into these questions right now. And as I mention them to you, be registering them in your mind. Wow. You know, one day when I get married or I'm about to be married now, I better ask these questions or I just got married. Oops. I better ask these questions now. So again, Take in these 21 questions, process them, and then say to yourself, you know, I'm going to be sure that I ask every one of these questions because, uh, thank you, Bart, uh, these are great questions to ask someone before you get married. Question number one, what is your financial situation look like? (laughs) I'm talking to you. (laughs) What's your financial situation look like? And the person you're marrying, any saved income, any savings? What's your credit score, current income, job security? If you choose to, could you start a business together? You know, these are important questions to ask up front. Marriage is not only a loving relationship, it's a financial one as well. You not only gain income, but you risk losing money if one or both of you is a bad spender, in debt, has poor credit, etc. How easy would it be to relocate should one of you need to change jobs or careers in order to make more money? What percentage of our income together should we prepare to spend on household items, living expenses? Mm. What about allowing one of you or both time to clear up some debts or improve a credit score prior to getting married? You know, if you both became jobless, what resources or assets? could you depend on? Can you put a plan together to prepare for such emergencies? What about your net worth, cash flow, any assets? How will you handle bank accounts, such as having one account for the household and income goes there to pay all the bills? And then she has her bank account and you have yours for your personal spending. You know, you want to go get this, you want to go get that. It's okay because you have your personal account and each of you know what's going on there. And on the household account, you both are signers on there. So nobody can like run off with the money. You know, you need both signatures or whatever, you know, how are you going to handle it? You got to talk about it. So you can see right away that this financial question is aimed at both of you. You know, what's your credit score? What's your saved income, job security? You know, if you're going to get married per se, you might say to each other, you know what, let's both get an extra job part-time job and or start a business online or something. Let's work our current jobs, but let's make some extra money and let's save up a, a nice little nest egg for our wedding. It'll be a gift to each other because as soon as we're married, as soon as the honeymoon is over, you're going to start living your life. It'd be nice to have mm, a little extra cash on hand just for any kind of an emergency. Question number two, what's going on in your life right now? that the other person should be aware of. Perhaps you have a certain career or other aspirations that you need to talk about. 
Is this other person okay with your current status, pursuits, endeavors, hobbies? Or can they join in on them with you and simply provide their loving support? That would be nice to know. Question number three. Do your careers complement each other? Do they coincide or do they compete and conflict? Like one of you is a nine to fiver, but the other one is a freelance consultant, own your own business, work from home. You get your money over the internet. So you have two different kind of work lifestyles. One of you gets to sleep in every day. The other person has to get up in the morning every day. You know, how do your careers and how you go about making your money, how do they kind of gel? Sometimes it doesn't matter what you both do for a living per se, provided that you you don't rob each other of time together or impose demands on each other for, you know, something so that one of you or both of you suffer. Talk about these matters before getting married. Maybe small changes can make all the difference. Like, hey, you know what? When we get married, we should start a business. You do what you do for work and I'll do what I do for work, but we got to get out of that rat race, you know, the nine to five. We got to kick that. You and I together, Oh, we could just, oh, we could kill it. Yeah, totally. Okay. You know, stuff like that. Talk about that. Talk about how you're going to make money together. Mm. Question number four. Are there any health issues or concerns that either of you should know about? Be honest. Do you take medication? Do you follow a specific diet regimen that restricts your food choices? Do you have or see a doctor regularly? Do you have health insurance? Dental insurance? Have you ever seen or are you seeing a therapist? How much alcohol do you drink every week? What would you do if the other person fell ill for quite some time? Would you care for them for the duration? Or if not, would you leave? (laughs) Not everyone is a caregiver. Not everyone has those skills. In fact, a friend of mine that I grew up with in high school, when she married uh, this gentleman, About 10 years later, he came down with just a horrible illness, and she was unable to care for him. They had to separate. It was just too much on her to take care of him and work and pay the bills. It just was impossible. So, you know, stuff like that does happen. You know, again, what would you do if one of you fell ill for quite some time? Think about that. And again, not everybody is a caregiver. So have you ever had health problems that were a factor in perhaps a breakup in a relationship in your past. Talk about that. 